system B. Okay, testing, talking, testing. Give talking. me a beep.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome to this Mass on the seventh Sunday of Easter. At least here in New York, it's the seventh Sunday in Easter. Other places, it might be Ascension Sunday, but here, seventh Sunday. So, welcome. I have with me Father Dave Dwyer, who will uh, be here to celebrate the liturgy with me. As we prepare ourselves to hear the words of Christ today, the promise of his being with us that we're going to hear in the Gospel of John, um, let us prepare ourselves to hear that by um, calling to mind the times and the occasions of our life that might have resisted God's love. And let's ask for God's grace and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead all of us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie Let us pray. O Lord, graciously hear our supplications, 
so that we who believe that the Savior of the human race is with you in your glory may experience, as he promised until the end of the world, his abiding presence among us, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the Mount of Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying, Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the My salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have mercy on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, rejoice to the extent that you share in the sufferings of Christ so that when his glory is revealed, you may also rejoice exultantly. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. But let no one among you be made to suffer as a murderer, a thief, an evil duda, or as an intriguer. But whoever is made to suffer as a Christian should not be ashamed, but glorify God, because of the name, the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, 
Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belonged to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave me I have given to them. And they accepted them, and truly understood that I came from you. And they believe that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones that you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them and now I will no longer be in the world. But they are in the world, while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. How can you check to see if an experience is really what you think it is, if a product that you bought is really worth the money that you paid for it? Or how do you kick the tires, so to speak, on a relationship that you might be starting out with? Um, in so many ways, we have to test our own experiences of the world and of all the different situations that we find ourselves in. How do we know that, I guess, the person who says that they love us is really there for us? How do we know that, um, the friends that we have are truly so. In some ways, that truth that we seek, that truth that we have is something that is always disclosed to us. It's always something that's revealed to us. That life-giving quality to something that we have in our life is always shown through the relationship, through the actions in the relationship, through the signs, actions, displays, and shows of love that we have. In some ways, that's how we know what's true in a relationship. It's not really pragmatism, you know, where we would say, you know, something in a relationship is true because it works. Well, it's kind of the other way around. We have a sense of love, and we can trust someone because their heart is true and given to us. And so, it's through that same way that we come to have a sense of who God is in God's own love toward us. It's one of the main threads that runs throughout the entire Gospel of John, to know God through the person of Jesus, to know the Father through the Son. Who is at, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine. We hear this so often throughout the gospel that we almost actually tend to forget its significance, that the truth of our own value that we come to see in God speaking his word of love to us is something that's revealed there. As we hear at the beginning of the gospel of John, no one has ever seen God but the Son who is with the Father or in the bosom of the Father has revealed himself 
or has revealed that to us, has opened it up, has explained it, literally has exegeted it for us, that Father's love for the world. And so we have that truth that we experience in that love. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That we experience life then through that truth. We have that little part earlier on in today's gospel that explains this so magnificently. Now this is eternal life. Fun fact, this is almost more of a gloss by a later author, kind of expanding on what Jesus said. Now this is eternal life, it says, that they should know you, the only and true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. Because to see on the face of Christ, not just the Father's love reflected to us, but the deepest desires of our own heart reflected on Jesus' humanity, that calls us to life. That truth that we find there is not just God's own heart, but we see in Jesus' humanity, a flesh that's touched so deeply by the grace of God, we find what it means to be truly human, what it means to truly have hope in something, what it means to truly have love in something to the point that we lay down our lives for it. And so it reflects back both ways, and it's something that calls us and brings us life precisely because we know it, precisely because it's something that's shown upon us, true light, bread come down from heaven from another part of John's Gospel, like manna, giving life and feeding our deepest desires, the basic needs that we have. And most fully, we have that through the gift of the Holy Spirit that we're going to be celebrating next week with Pentecost, which is in one sense the whole root of everything that we do as Christians. That's what leads us, that's what guides us in that relationship. It's what shines on us, that light of truth. And it's what draws us together and it's what draws us forward as a Christian people, putting all that trust and hope on the shoulders of Jesus who beckons us forward. And so, with trust in Jesus' power to save and the love that God has shown us through him, let us profess our faith together, saying, I believe believe in one God, God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of of all things things visible visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father Father before all ages, ages, God from God, God, light from light, light, true God from true God, God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will will come come again again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward forward to the resurrection of the dead and the the light of the world to come. Amen. Amen. And so together, with trust in God's power to save, let us offer our prayers and intentions for our church and indeed for the church and the the church throughout the entire world. We pray first off for the universal church that in this time, as we draw near to Pentecost, that we will experience renewal in the gift of the Holy Spirit, helping us to make present that 
loving kindness and saving power of God in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all doctors, medical workers, nurses, physicians, all those who work in the healing practices that they be protected, strengthened, and guided. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick in our families or in our communities, our friends, loved ones, that they be lifted up by God's mercy and made whole once more. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in our time, that this time of pandemic may serve, at the very least, as an occasion for world leaders to reflect on the value of human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And at this Mass in particular, we pray for the repose of the soul of Mary Sullivan and Anna Park and Angela Tenorio. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we offer to the Lord now the prayers that we carry with us in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers that we bring to you this day with faith and trust, and grant them, for we make them with confidence in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Pray now with me, brothers and sisters. Pray that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Lord, accept the prayers of your faithful with these sacrificial offerings, that through our acts of devotion we may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he may make us sharers in his divinity. 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Leni sun celi et terra, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. Truly, O Lord, you are holy, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And so, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries, for on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. And so, Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, on the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Mary, ever Virgin Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul and all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. And Lord, listen to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, and in your compassion gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's invitation and filled with the gift of the Spirit, we now pray as he taught us. Our Father, Our Father who, who art, art in heaven, 
hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our days, so that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of his peace. Peace. Stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, you enter, should under enter under my roof, my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. healed. Thank you. 
Let us pray. O God, our Savior, hear us and grant us confidence that through these sacred mysteries there will be accomplished in the body of the whole Church what has already come to pass in Christ, her head, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Uh, only one announcement today. Um, tomorrow, Monday, um, there will be, for the holiday, uh, Mass at 10 a.m. So the broadcast will be at 10 a.m., not the normal 12:10 time. So uh, be advised. As usual, it's um, <laughs> wonderful to celebrate with you all, and I hope wherever you are that you're staying safe and that your prayer um, has been just as meaningful as it has been for us here. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.